Students enrolled in the dance program at GS Lakey Middle School in Lethbridge began this year with a memorable field trip to the center of the dance universe, New York City. What you got, what you got, do we get dessert? These grade eight dance students from GS Lakey Middle School in Lethbridge are just back from a school tour they won't soon forget. Oh my gosh, I got so much out of it. This was so inspirational and such a wonderful experience. And oh, it was just amazing. They were a part of a large group of students that began the school year in New York City experiencing the culture and art scene of the Big Apple. New York is one of the biggest places for dance. Like, you go lots of places, you see street dancers of all kinds, hip-hop, breaking, you get the, sometimes you get a contemporary, but New York has so much great dancing in there. The trip to New York for me was the most inspiring and amazing thing I've ever done. My two favorite parts of going to New York were the Broadway shows and the Broadway dance workshop. Performing arts dance teacher Christy Legg said the trip was all about opening eyes and inspiring kids. Seeing the breadths and depths of different performers in New York was extremely inspiring, especially at such a young age. They haven't been, they haven't traveled a ton at this age. And so just to get them that young, that inspired, I feel like it's life changing. Christy runs a popular dance program for grades six, seven, and eight, introducing students to a wide range of dance styles. Each year is a little bit different. We've done Bollywood, lyrical, contemporary, tap, break dance, hip hop. Um, African dance, it's been a wide variety, so I try to expose them to different styles as much as possible. This was the third year for the New York trip. Six days packed with activities, new experiences, and lots of spontaneous dance performances. Yeah, we would break out spontaneously. I taught them a little thank you stomp routine before we left, just as a little icebreaker. Um, they performed everywhere. They performed in the airport. They performed at the Broadway show outside. They performed in Central Park. They performed in front of the Statue of Liberty. Um, they got to go to some post-secondary dance in institutions. They went to Juilliard. Uh, they went to three Broadway shows, did multiple private dance classes, as well as uh, something new we tried this year was a drop-in dance class. So they were immersed with other New York uh, dancers, which was really exciting. Most students said the highlight of the trip was meeting and working with professional dancers. We went to Alvin Ailey, the American Dance Theater, and we got to learn West African dancing. And it was interesting for me because our teacher didn't really have to talk to us. He used more of the universal language of dance to teach us. But not all the dancers they met were from New York. We um, got to meet a Rockette from Alberta. She's from Lacombe. So when we were like, oh yeah, we're from Lethbridge, they're like, oh yeah, we know where that is. So that was awesome. Um, because no other people knew where that was. They're like, oh, that's cool. While not everyone in the dance program could go on the trip, it was still a major undertaking for the school. The hope is that those who went will share their experience and newfound knowledge with their peers. And I honestly feel so thankful to have such a, a supportive admin and colleagues, you know, the core teachers working around the schedule of the students and getting them caught up when they get back. But even just the dance program in general would not exist without such a supportive, collaborative team.